Chapter 593 Hingchen Family. Jing Hingchen looked at Xiao Hingchen and said, Kid, you were born at the wrong time. If you had avoided this period of time, you'd be a leading figure in any other era. It's a pity that Trek Academy has too many talents in this era. They've suppressed you, such that you can't fulfill your potential. You've even wasted a lot of potential trying to increase your cultivation, leaving side effects. Otherwise, you would have become a title duo given the amount of resources we've poured into you. When Xiao Hingchen competed in the Continental Advanced Soul Master Academy Soul Dueling Tournament for the second time, he had used some kind of special method to increase his cultivation. He had stimulated his own potential to quickly become a soul sage. He was preparing to shine in the tournament, but who knew that he would still lose tragically? He even almost lost his life. After that, he only recovered his vital energy after recuperating for five years. Although he'd been cultivating tirelessly over the years, his cultivation still lagged too far behind his sister. He had just become a soul duo, but Ming Hingchen was already at rank 87. Soon, she would try to make a breakthrough to become a title duo. Xiao Hingchen walked in front of Jing Hingchen and grabbed his wine flask. He downed two mouthfuls from it. After this, his eyes turned red as he said, Shrek, it's all Shrek's fault. They were the ones who thwarted my destiny. One day, I'll completely destroy Shrek Academy if I manage to make my way into the illustrious virtue hall and control it. I'll let Huo Yuan and the rest watch as Shrek Academy is destroyed. Shut up. Jing Hingchen snatched the flask back. He was furious as he said, What nonsense are you spouting? Do you think you can destroy Shrek Academy on your own? Remember, don't let this idea resurface again. Otherwise, you'll implicate our entire family with you. Do you understand? Xiao Hingchen retorted, Grandpa, didn't you teach me to aim far and wide since my youth? Why can't I destroy Shrek Academy? Why? You don't know your limits. A low pitched voice sounded. The three of them were astonished at the same time. They turned in the direction of the voice. In the night, the lighting inside the palace was very dim. At this moment, two figures gradually appeared. They were all astonished when they saw the appearance of those two figures. Xiao Hing Chen's reaction was the biggest. He almost leapt forward instantly. When he saw his enemy, he became agitated. How could he possibly keep calm? Huo Yuao held Tang Wutong's hand and silently stared at the three of them. Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen had both grown up. They were no longer as young as they looked in the past. Meng Hing Chen was still as pretty as she was before. However, Xiao Hing Chen's hair had already started to turn slightly gray, even though he was still less than 30. Right now, he was about to spew flames from his eyes as he saw Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. However, he didn't leap out eventually. Just before he moved, Jing Hing Chen pulled him back. Meng Hing Chen looked at Huo Yuao in a daze. When she finally turned her attention to Tang Wutong. Her face also turned pale. In her mind, she would never forget Wang Dong. He was her first crush. However, it had only ended in pain. After all these years, it still tortured her greatly. Meng Hingchen looked at Tang Wutong in a daze and muttered, What should I call you now? Tang Wutong also looked a little awkward as she nodded at her. She replied, I'm Tang Wutong. Tang Wutong? Aren't you Wang Qiu or Wang Donga? Meng Hingchen was a little astonished. Xiao Hingchen roared, Grandpa, let go of me. Shut up. Jing Hingchen stood up suddenly. Peek. Xiao Hingchen was slapped. Right now, Jing Hingchen appeared more domineering than he was before. His terrifying and suppressive aura was unleashed towards Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. Huo Yuao smiled. He didn't even move. The aura from Jing Hingchen disappeared once it was 10 meters from him. Jing Hingchen couldn't even tell what skill he had used. Jing Hingchen's expression changed, and he said, Both of you, leave right now. There's no need to get reinforcements. Quickly, leave this place and return to Radiant City. He was talking to Xiao Hingchen and Meng Hingchen. No, I'm not going. Xiao Hingchen still refused to listen after being slapped. He had been suppressing his anger for many years. If not for Huo Yuao, he wouldn't be in such a state. Would his cultivation have stalled for so many years? He was supposed to be a generational talent, but he couldn't even touch the peak of this world anymore. He was full of hate right now. He hated Huo Yuao the most. Shut up. Get lost. Jing Hing Chen turned pale. This rascal. Is it time to be emotional? Even five evil transcendent duo from the Holy Ghost Church lost to this young man. What does he intend on relying on to fight him? Jing Hing Chen was once the head of the illustrious virtue hall. He had many avenues to turn to for information. He didn't believe that the hundred soul engineers in the palace were capable of dealing with Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. Perhaps they were already dead. He was only relying on his own strength to seek an escape route for his two grandchildren right now. Grandpa, we won't leave. Even if we die today, we must die with you. Meng Hing Chen walked to Jing Hing Chen's side, and a layer of white fog slowly surfaced from her body. She unleashed over a million clear ice though, and white air currents engulfed her. However, they didn't move towards Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. This was because she was aware that her lethal poison was useless against ultimate ice. Xiao Hing Chen was also much more aware now. He gritted his teeth and stood on the other side of Jing Hing Chen. Dark golden light flashed from his body. He unleashed his three-legged golden toad prepared to fight. When he saw how the three of them were ready to fight, Huo Yuao laughed. Then, he said, Hall Master Hengchen, would you believe me if I said we aren't here to hurt the three of you? Jing Hengchen was stunned. However, he didn't relax because of this. What do you guys want then? Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong had appeared here without any warning. Weren't they here for something? Jing Hengchen had heard that Huo Yuao had once led Soul Engineer Legions to cause trouble in the Sun Moon Empire, causing huge losses. Would he really show mercy now that he was here? It was important to know that the Sun Moon Empire had even surrounded Shrek City not long ago. But Huo Yuao was the one who forced them to retreat. Huo Yuao sighed slightly and replied, I really have no intention to kill anyone. To be honest, it's been many years, but what happened in the past still flashes before our eyes. Although we were once opponents, we shouldn't be enemies if our empires aren't at war with each other. Xiao Hengchen, Meng Hengchen, I should thank both of you. Both of you trained me, so that I managed to develop more quickly. Xiao Hing Chen's eyes turned red. Are you treating me as a stepping stone? Huo Yuao shook his head and replied, Nope, never. I just have this feeling when I think of the past. We were not comparable to both of you in the past. However, we had strong fighting wills. Eventually, we emerged victorious. It's just we didn't expect you to take such an extreme path. If you hadn't overly stimulated your potential back then, we'd still be opponents now. It's a pity. Am I not fit to be your opponent now? Xiao Hing Chen was furious. He suddenly lifted his right hand, turning it into a dark gold metal barrel. A dark gold shell was instantly fired towards Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong. Huo Yuao shook his head and lifted his right hand. He waved it gently, causing the temperature to suddenly fall. In the next instant, that dark golden shell disappeared. Only Tang Wutong saw a small slit in the air where the shell crossed it. That slit devoured the shell. As for where it exploded, she didn't know. As they were moving around the Heavenly Soul Empire over the past few years, they had been cultivating too. They were sensing spatial power. After all, spatial power might be the key to their breakthroughs to ultimate duo in the future. Right now, they had developed some understanding of spatial power. Using it now had started to take effect. Jing Hing Chen's expression changed. He knew what power his grandson had just unleashed. He didn't expect it to hurt Huo Yuao, but he didn't expect it to be neutralized so easily either. Huo Yuao is indeed much stronger than I expected. How has he done this even though he's so young. Meng Hing Chen was furious. Who are you Al? Why are you flaunting your powers here? What do you really want? Who are you Al didn't even look at her. Rather, he turned to Jing Hing Chen. Oh Master Hing Chen, we don't wish to kill anyone today. That's why I hope you can ask your grandchildren to curb their behavior. I only have one question to ask. Tell me the answer and we'll leave. I promise I
Who are you, Ann nodded. He didn't say anything else, and just pointed his right hand at Jing Chen. As he lifted it, a golden sun and blue moon slowly rose behind him. An unprecedentedly strong aura was instantly unleashed. Shu Sanchi was right. When Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong fused their martial souls, they possessed the abilities of an ultimate Uluo. Jing Chen shouted, and his body shone with red light. A disc drifted in front of him, and bright red light shone. It turned into a huge screen that protected him and his two grandchildren. Huo Yuao was a little empathetic as he looked at him. Then, he shook his head. Without a doubt, Jing Chen had unleashed his class 9 defensive type soul tool. Heng Chen's yearning, compared to ordinary class 9 soul engineers, Jing Chen was much stronger. He also had many powerful class 9 soul tools with him. However, he was only a class 9 soul engineer. An icy blue glow flashed before disappearing. In the sky, a layer of morning dew appeared. White scratch marks appeared on the surface of the Jing Chen's yearning. Jing Hing Chen groaned and only felt as if his body was being separated. He felt as if he was being torn apart. It was a terrifying feeling. Jing Hing Chen was frightened. Before he could even react further, Huo Yuao was already within the Hing Chen's yearning, and Tang Wutong with him. The temperature fell to negative 150 degrees Celsius. The extremely low temperature was the best domain to use. Whether it was Jing Hing Chen, Xiao Hing Chen, or Meng Hing Chen, they all felt as if their blood had coagulated. Their soul power, blood, and even aura weren't flowing properly. They had no choice but to circulate their soul power to maintain their body temperatures. After this, they saw a smile on Huo Yuao's face. It wasn't an arrogant smile, but it gave them the feeling that they couldn't resist him. Huo Yuao shook his head at the three of them. As he moved his right hand, dark gold blades of light appeared. He smacked down another of Jing Hing Chen's class nine soul tools. A low pitched dragon roar echoed in front of Tang Wutong. A purplish gold dragon head spat out countless streaks of flowing light, suppressing Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen, who could only struggle with all their might. Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong used their instant teleportation and disappeared. When they reappeared, they were already in front of Xiao Hing Chen. Xiao Hing Chen, who was about to turn fluid, was locked in his current state by the low temperature. Huo Yuao palmed the air, sealing the space around him. This caused Xiao Hing Chen's body to freeze up immediately. Tang Wutong's body shone brightly with golden light. As a sonorous dragon roar echoed, Jing Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen's attacks were completely devoured by that purplish gold light. They couldn't pose any threat to Huo Yuao at all. Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong returned to where they were as they instantly stepped back. However, Xiao Hing Chen was in front of them right now. The dark gold Xiao Hing Chen had been completely frozen. Huo Yuao pressed his palm against Xiao Hing Chen's head. He appeared very calm as he looked at Jing Hing Chen. Jing Hing Chen's body was shaking. It wasn't because he was furious, but because he was terrified. He's too strong. That's right, he's really that strong. After he personally witnessed it, he finally understood why Huo Yuao said everything he did earlier, and why he had promised to let them off. The three of them were no longer fit to be his opponents. The revenge that Xiao Hing Chen was harping on earlier was just a joke. An ultimate Duluo who's only 20 plus years of age? It seems like this world is really about to change. The heavens gave the Sun Moon Empire such powerful soul tools, but they gave such a freak to the three empires of the original Duluo continent. Who can challenge such a freak? At least it's not possible for me. Jing Hing Chen shut his eyes in pain. He nodded at Huo Yuao and said, All right, I'll tell you. If it was 20 years ago, or even 10 years ago, he would have protected his own dignity even if it was at the expense of watching his biological grandson die in front of him, given his character as the whole master of the illustrious virtue hall. However, things were different now. He was old. He was an old man. He treasured his family more. He only had these two outstanding grandchildren now. They were his entire hope. They were also the hope of his family. Jing Hing Chen's subordinates and friends were almost all dead from that huge explosion. Otherwise, why would he be in this state? This was why he had no choice. He could only compromise, as long as he could save his grandchildren's lives. Who are you out nodded? As he shook his hand, Xiao Hing Chen was in front of Jing Hing Chen again. The effect of ice on his body also disappeared. Huo Yuao wasn't even a little afraid that Jing Hing Chen was going to go back on his word. If he could capture Xiao Hing Chen once, he could do it again. Xiao Hing Chen was still shuddering even after he returned to normal. He wasn't afraid, but was still shaking from the cold. He was a little dazed as he looked at Huo Yuao. If he still had some energy when he was furious, he was only left with desolation now. Yes, it was desolation. What should I do? How can I resist him? He couldn't find the answer. He even understood that he might never find an answer for the rest of his life. Huo Yuao shook his head at him and said, I know how to show gratitude. Thanks for putting pressure on me then. Thanks for being my opponent then. I won't kill you today. You don't have to be so frightened either. If you want to seek revenge, I welcome you anytime. However, you need to work harder. Xiao Hing Chen's face suddenly turned blood red. He spat out a mouthful of blood and staggered. Jing Hing Chen was furious. Go, please go. The Sun Moon Empire's army is 250 kilometers to the south of Heaven Do City. They are resting at a place surrounded by mountains. Go. Don't let me see either of you again. If Huo Yuao continued speaking, he might forever lose his grandson. His only wish was for them to leave now. The best thing was that he would never see them again. Huo Yuao nodded at Jing Hing Chen. Oh, Master Hing Chen, take care. After getting the answer he wanted, he held Tang Wutong's hand before turning and leaving. Wait a minute. Jing Hing Chen suddenly called. Huo Yuao stopped in his tracks and turned back to look. Oh, Master, what else do you have to say? Jing Hing Chen paused for a moment before saying, Huo Yuao, I have something to tell you. Currently, the War God Empress is under investigation by His Majesty. I don't know why, but it has something to do with the Holy Ghost Church. I heard that the Soul Engineers in the army killed many of the lower tier members of the Holy Ghost Church. Only the evil title Duluo managed to escape. There's also some confusion regarding this in the capital. That's also the reason why the army hasn't done anything yet. However, I also hear the War God Empress has deployed newly trained Soul Engineers to fill up the gaps in the Soul Engineer Legions. They are accumulating their strength. Oh. Huo Yuao was a little astonished as he looked at Jing Hing Chen. He hadn't expected him to say something like this. Jing Hing Chen continued, saying, Currently, the newly trained soul engineers should be on the way. I predict that His Majesty wouldn't want to offend the two ultimate Duluo in the Holy Ghost Church over this matter. However, the strength under His Majesty is getting stronger and stronger. It's also not a fact that the two ultimate Duluo are at an absolute advantage. At least the War God Empress should be fine. His Majesty trusts her the most. Furthermore, he'll still need to rely on her to help him in the war. It's a good opportunity now. As for what you can do, it will depend on you. I shall not speak further. I shall just take it as a favor that I'm repaying for not killing us. Huo Yuao smiled and replied, Thanks for telling us. After he finished, he held on to Tang Wutong and turned around before leaving. Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen were both astonished as they looked at their grandfather. They wouldn't have expected him to tell Huo Yuao such a confidential secret. Neither of you can't understand why. Right? I'm telling him the truth. I didn't lie at all. Don't you think I'm betraying my empire? Jing Hing Chen spoke self mockingly. Xiao Hing Chen's voice was a little hoarse as he asked, Grandpa, why did you do that? Jing Hing Chen looked at him coldly. Now do you know how ridiculous you were acting earlier? Let me tell you. Even if our empire rules the entire continent, Shrek Academy will be fine. The empire will not target the academy. The reason is simple. It's an academy, not an empire. This is also why Shrek Academy is very clever. They've never leaned towards any side. They only influence soul masters and soul engineers. No matter which empire rules the continent, it will want such a prestigious academy to stick around. This is why Shrek Academy has survived so long and will continue to survive. If the empire really wants to destroy
I've been to Shrek Academy before, and really wanted to learn there once. That's also the reason why both of you were able to go there in the exchange. It's because I was relying on you to fulfill my dream. I know how outstanding their students are. Those who come to the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy will be accomplished too, but I still couldn't help but send both of you there. It's not just me. Every Soul Master wants to go there. Everyone wants to go there, even His Majesty. His Majesty? Neng Hengchen exclaimed. Jing Hengchen nodded and answered, believe it or not, if His Majesty rules the continent in the future, the Crown Prince will learn in Shrek Academy, as long as his safety can be guaranteed. This is the charm of Shrek Academy. That's why Shrek will be fine. Everything that Xiao mentioned earlier is just ridiculous. As for why I told Hua Yu out everything earlier, the reason is actually very simple. It's because I hope that he'll know, or rather, I don't wish to see the Empire dominate the continent so quickly. If the Empire successfully rules the continent, so engineers like us will lose our footing. As long as the war continues, both of you have the opportunity to shine in the worship hall in the future. This is why I did that. That's right, I betrayed my empire. However, I had to do it for my family. Jing Hengchen shut his eyes in pain. Both of you must remember that you should never treat Hua Yu as your target anymore. Neither of you stand a chance. I've never even heard of such an extraordinary genius emerging from Shrek Academy before. He's already fully developed. Even the two ultimate Duluo in the Holy Ghost Church might not even be able to kill him. Once they die, the continent will belong to Hua Yuao. If there's anyone in the history of the Duluo continent who can compare to him, it has to be the founder of the Tang sect, Tang San. Back then, Tang San led Shrek seven monsters as they established the Tang sect. They dominated the entire continent, and he finally became a god. He defeated the whole master of the Martial Soul Hall, who had already become a god. From there, he tore the Martial Soul Hall apart and helped his empire truly control the continent. After that, he rose into the godly realm and vanished. Although this is a legend, I believe that Hua Yuao and Tang Wutong both possess the potential to become gods if such a realm exists. They are opponents that neither of you can challenge at all. Gods? When he heard this word, even Xiao Hing Chen was stunned. He had never thought of it before. What did it mean to be a god? Were there really gods in this world? No one knew. However, this legend existed in Shrek Academy in the Tang sect. Even until now, the statues of the first generation of Shrek's seven monsters who became gods were still outside the gates of Shrek Academy. Jing Hengchen nodded seriously. It's really possible. Time will prove everything. Perhaps we can really see the appearance of gods in our lives. Meng Hengchen was completely confused by now, whereas Xiao Hengchen was in a daze. He didn't expect that the person he had always regarded as his greatest foe had the potential to become a god. Who are Yuao and Tang Wutong didn't say any longer after they left the palace. They flew into the sky. All the surveillance soul tools were just a joke to them. Yuao, do you believe Jing Hengchen? Tang Wutong asked. Who are Yuao nodded and replied, highly credible. Why? Tang Wutong couldn't understand. Who are Yuao replied, he's past his prime. Can't you tell? Jing Hengchen is already very displeased with the Sun Moon Empire. He was once the head of the illustrious Virtue Hall and one of the best class 9 soul engineers. What about now? Although he's the mayor of the Heaven Do City and appears to be very glorified, he has actually already been excluded from the core of power in the Sun Moon Empire by the work of Shu Tian Man. How can he not hate him? From the words of his two grandchildren earlier, it does seem that he's indignant. Since that's the case, he needs his grandchildren to rise to the occasion. Peace is never what powerful individuals need. They only stand a chance if this war continues. Jing Hengchen is just afraid that there will no longer be any chaos. Of course, he doesn't want us to really harm the Sun Moon Empire, but he doesn't want the Sun Moon Empire to rule the entire continent so quickly. It won't be beneficial for him. He's actually so selfish. Tang Wutong was a little scornful. Huo Yuao felt a little heavy and said, "That's not really it. With his family around, he can't just think about himself." He thought of the white tiger duke. Did he ignore mom and me because? Am I really searching for excuses on his behalf? Huo Yuao was shocked, but he found it amusing too. He could still deeply remember that he had secretly sworn to avenge his mother when he became the strongest person in the Duluo continent when he left the duke's mansion. He was already close to his goal of becoming the strongest person on the continent. If he could become an ultimate Duluo in the future, he could become the strongest person in this world. However, he was no longer as vengeful as he used to be. As he became stronger, a lot of his hate slowly dissipated. Huo Yuao was very grateful to the academy and the Tang sect. Without the guidance of the academy, he might have actually gone down the wrong path. Perhaps he might have become an evil soul master. It was precisely because the academy kept on changing his perspective and was concerned about his growth. The academy nurtured him to where he was today. It was also because of the encouragement he got from his teammates. Huo Yuao was a grateful person. He had always been like this. He would use his whole life to repay this debt of gratitude. Dim starlight flashed in the sky. The stars were extremely bright tonight. Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong concealed themselves in the night sky using Huo Yuao's imitation and flew towards the south. What should we do next? Kill those soul engineers. It's a good opportunity before they rendezvous with the army. Tang Wutong said. Who are you? I nodded and replied. It's indeed a good opportunity. Zhu Zi once proposed this idea to me. If I can kill Shu Tianran, she won't wage war for the next ten years. The Star Luo and Doling empires would be given the chance to get stronger. What? She wants to kill her husband? Tang Wutong was astonished. There was a bitter smile on Huo Yuao's face. It seems so. I don't know what she's thinking either. However, I've got to admit that her proposition is tempting. That's why my next target is possibly Shu Tianran. Shu Tianran is an anti hero. The Sun Moon Empire is really able to dominate the entire continent under his control. However, there'll certainly be chaos within the Sun Moon Empire if he dies. Zhu Zi will need some time to stabilize her son's position in the empire. That's why the Sun Moon Empire would be unable to wage any war in the short term, even if she goes back on her word. That's why killing Shu Tianran is my goal. Tang Wutong said, So you're going to the Sun Moon Empire to discuss this matter with Zhu Zi? Who are you? I shook his head. That's not the only reason. A lion will only negotiate with a tiger. If we don't demonstrate our strength, how can I possibly force her to keep her promise? That's why we must still act and weaken her forces. After that, we'll negotiate with her. In this way, she'll be more pressed. This is something we can't avoid. If possible, I don't wish to become enemies with her. Zhu Zi is too clever, especially on the battlefield. Even I can't help with her. Tang Wutong nodded and said, the only flaw with Zhu Zi is her individual ability. If she was stronger, she'd really be too dangerous. Yu Ao, will you kill her if she threatens the academy one day? When she asked this, Tang Wutong looked very serious. When Hua Yu Ao looked into her eyes, Tang Wutong revealed a guilty expression. She lowered her head and said, I'm sorry, Yu Ao, I still feel a little uncomfortable. Hua Yu Ao pulled her into his embrace and controlled their flying speed just like this. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.